Many HBCUs have struggled to stay open, but what does this mean for the future of HBCUs as a whole, and particularly at Warwarders College? What is the future for HBCUs? That in order for our HBCUs to survive, um, it's going to take an active uh, role and an active partnership from the alumni to put their money back and put their efforts back and even put uh, put their skills in, back into the colleges you know that they graduated from to help them to survive. Uh, I've heard of them trying to shut down HBCUs. Uh, they attempted to do that at Edwards College. That's what's doing uh, all the time that we will see lose our accreditation. It didn't work. I feel that prayer and holding together in unity kept at Waters College here, as well as the other HBCUs, and it will continue on. I believe that the future of HBCUs will be a long-lasting and productive um, investment, especially if the students are always coming back and giving back to their schools. WC will always be here. It's been here for 150 years already, so I believe that EWC will be here. Like I said, there's been a lot of good accomplishments come out of all HBCUs if you check your history, your government, positions. So I see no reason to shut them down. Many suggest that more financial support from the alumni will help perpetuate the future of HBCUs. This is LaPortia Grace signing off.